Hi everyone, it's Mark Phillips Studica, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Open Map system inside of Lumion Pro. Open Map is basically like the Wikipedia of GPS mapping data. So it's a user contributed information about streets and building placements, uh, bodies of water, and things like that. So Lumion's basically integrated this so that you can get like what you see here on my screen. Um, we actually have, this is uh, downtown San Francisco, and we have buildings that are uh, coming from the ground, and we have areas with um, such as roadways that we see here and like greenery areas, like a little park here, for instance. So this is actual um, GPS data that comes from the Open Map system. And so this feature is available in Lumion Pro 7.0 and higher. And it's currently in beta, so there may be some issues with it that might pop up, but Lumion is um, quickly working to solve these issues and make this feature even more fully fleshed out. So we're going to look at how we can do this. It's a pretty quick, uh, quick tutorial, so we'll jump right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your Landscape tab here on the left, and there's this OpenStreetMap object, and we need to click the OpenStreetMap on-off. And uh, it will give you this beta warning, and I mentioned that earlier, it is a beta version, so just click the OK button. And now what you'll see down here is some GPS coordinates. Um, we can click on this, and this little uh, box will show up, allowing us to look at basically the entire planet, and there's mapping data for all of this. And so we can zoom in on an area. So as per my earlier example, let's look at uh, San Francisco. And now we're in San Francisco, we can left click in here and this box will basically specify the area that we want to grab the, the map data from. And we can change the range of like how large of an area we want to grab. So you can go really large, 10 kilometers for instance. I'm going to make this pretty small. Uh, remember that the larger an area, the longer your download will take and probably the more resources it's going to take to process such a large amount of data. Um, so I'm going to zoom in pretty close here. And um, I'm going to make my area much smaller. So I'm just going to grab this, this particular spot right here. And I'm going to click on Start Download. And it will download the information. And then we basically have the map imported. So let me kind of zoom out here and take a look. Uh, so this is that street that we just looked at. So we have a freeway right here. And we have the buildings surrounding all the freeways. Um, so we do have some extra options. We can click the Edit button. And we can choose to move the OSM around, so we can move where this is, for instance. Um, we can change the height of the OSM, so I can bring it up and down if I prefer. And I can rotate it. So basically any of your normal like transformation tools exist for this, right? Um, and additionally, we can change the appearance. So we can actually choose to turn water on and off, or land use areas on and off. Uh, roads can be turned on and off, the earth. Uh, and buildings. So we can do all sorts of things here to kind of customize this. We can also change the minimal building height. So we can choose to extrude these things larger, or smaller, depending on what we're looking for in our model. And we can also randomize the building heights. And this will, as we can kind of see here, let me zoom out a little bit, um, we can see how each of the buildings kind of take on different heights now. So this kind of gives it a more organic feeling, something that's a little more realistic. And when you're done, you can just hit OK, and there you go. That's really all there is to it. And kind of the main benefit for this in Lumion is that you can take your design and, you know, if we know that the location is going to be in downtown San Francisco, for instance, maybe maybe our site's going to be like, you know, right over here between some buildings, I don't know, like right here or something. Um, we can bring our model in here and actually put it in here and see it within the context of downtown San Francisco. Of course, it's a little rough. I mean, your your buildings are grayscale and everything without textures, but it gives you a much better idea of how your design might fit into the, the, the cityscape, right? Um, so that's about all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them on the video. Thanks.